Okay, so just again, recapping, uh, a website like Netflix written in React um, runs really well and smooth for how much data is coming through. It's probably changed now with other streaming services, but back in kind of the heyday of Netflix, I remember reading one time like a third of the traffic on the internet or some crazy amount was uh, Netflix. And so, a community, great show. Let's like that one. So when I like it, notice it's doing something again individually in these, and we can keep drilling down and seeing what exactly it's doing um, within there, but what's being updated at any given time is not the full website. This whole thing is not refreshing. It's just the individual elements, which is one of the things that makes React so powerful and fast. So as we come back to kind of our history of React, well, React was a great language and, and, and people liked it for developing uh, different applications that we needed to be fast, but it is kind of a pain to write code in. And so just like in, if you've done JavaScript, or uh, yeah, JavaScript, you, you do a lot of the document.get element by ID, and you just do that over and over and over again. And so jQuery came in and said, instead of writing all that, let's just write a dollar sign. And that, that translates to this document get element by ID in an effort to make it faster. Well, in React, you might write a statement like, so this is React, actual React code, const tag equals React dot create, create element div null law. <laughs> All right, so go in and create a little element, div null, and call it blah. And, and so that's how we would write statements. Well, as people look for ways to shorten those, then someone developed a language called JSX, and JSX, uh, you instead, in JSX, you would write the same sentence as staying, so maybe I just do it this way. This is React, this is JSX, and so you might say something like const tag equals a div called blah. And so same co same result with both of these uh, lines of code, but different, shorter way of doing it. And that's just a small example. There's lots of things that JSX helps us in. But JSX is not natural. Like if you just write code like this, you have to translate it to React. And so what do we do? <laughs> How do we get this JSX code to be in React? And so they use something called Babel. And this translates JSX to React. All right, and that sits between those two and continually does this translation. And this is, again, where I got so confused in the beginning was why the heck are we installing all this stuff? Well, again, JavaScript is created in uh, 1995. TypeScript comes out in 2010 by a C-sharp developer. I think I mentioned that. React 2013. And so it's, it's an evolution that's happening. Nobody would have set out in the beginning to write the language this way, where you have to go install this stuff and use these libraries and, and bring in these tools to help you. But because it's evolved over time, that's why we're getting all these different uh, you know, pieces coming together uh, over time. And I don't even know, when did JSX come out? JSX uh, release date. So 2013, JSX came out to help us write React code. Um, well, it doesn't stop there. So we, we have other tools that we'll install. So we use things like um, ESLint, which will help us make sure that we're following along with standard design patterns. So the way that the code should be written, written it'll tell us if we're doing it wrong. We use something called Prettier, which is used to, uh, the way I like to think about it is uh, kind of an IntelliSense for React code. Um, we use something called Redux. <laughs> the list just goes on and on. Uh, helps us with state between different environments. We use Node.js, which is 
uh, an environment for React to run in. And React has become so popular now that, that uh, there's this React Native, which is turning into a full stack program instead of uh, just the front end, which is what React has typically been. And so there's just a lot to it, but all of these tools work together to help us to, to, to write the React code um, that's going to, to work, first of all, but then be clean and work well and run well for um, our, our users as we build these websites. So why is React so popular? And the answer is, is because it's so fast. It's, it's just everything in it is designed and optimized to help the website run fast. And that's why it's become such a prop popular uh, front-end technology. So our first real task with React then is going to be to get all this stuff installed so that we can actually start writing React code and we will start that process in the next video. Spencer, out.